are doing an experiment called jet propulsion. jet propulsion. So we have these balloons filled with water. You can use water balloons or regular balloons. We don't have any water balloons. But we need to fill our bathtub up. All right, we're going to fill it up. We'll be back in just a second. All right, Russell fam, we have filled up the bathtub, and we have a cup right here to show you that uh, it is how full it is, so you can tell with the balloons, because these are kind of big balloons. So what we're going to do is Bailey is going to let go of the blue one, and we're going to see what happens. Ready? Yes. <laughs> oh, <wow. Nice. laughs> All right, let go of the yellow one. Let's see what happens. Oh, let, go, let go of the yellow one. It does the same thing. All right. Back, let me see your red one. Oh. All right, let's put it over here. Ready? Let's see what happens. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to shoot. They are shooting stuff. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Do it again, sis. Go. That's cool. Hey. See shooting everywhere? All right, so let's go back to the table so we can see what happens. All right, we are back at the table, and we learned about jet propulsion. So when we filled the water balloons and we squeezed them with water, I mean, we squeezed them so the water couldn't come out, just like we did with the air, what happens when you let go now? It you know looks what like a big, like, grenade. It okay, Sissy, what, what happens when you let go of it? Let, of the balloon in your hand right now, what happens? It, it, let go of it. it what flies. happens? All of the air came out of it, right? And so that's what happened with our water balloons underwater. All of it came out. Okay? Um, so the water came shooting out of our water balloons, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what happens underneath the water. When you released the balloons, the water inside the balloon came shooting out of the other end. Okay, so the water came shooting up. This is actually called jet propulsion. When something like water or air pushes out of one end of a container, it produces a push in the opposite direction. Mm. If the balloon water came out the opening end of the balloon, this pushed the balloon so it moved in another direction. Well, you know how you had it facing one direction and you let go and then the water popped up and started yeah, shooting out? Yeah, it went a different direction. Uh, it was moving all over. It turns out that there are many marine, inver uh, marine invertebrates that use this method of motion. Oh. Can you guess what kind of animal underneath the water could use this to make it move? Like swim around underwater? A monkey, no. Oh, does a monkey swim underwater? <laughs> no. What kind of animal underwater do you think, maybe? Duck. A duck. Bailey, what kind of animal do you think underwater could do this? Fish. It's actually an octopus. Wow. That's right. An octopus can actually crawl along the bottom of the ocean with its eight tentacles, but that's not its main way of moving around. It can move very quickly in the water by taking water in its body and then shooting it out. And so when it shoots it out, That's it pushes it across the water. That's how I caught one on a water. fishing pole. Funny story, I caught one on a fishing pole, you know, it's shooting water out when I caught it. There you go. This causes the octopus to move in the opposite direction that the water is shooting from. All right. Why is this method of swimming called a jet, jet propulsion? An octopus isn't a jet, but believe it or not, a jet uses the exact same principle to move around. So blow up your balloons again. Done. All right, now just completely let the balloon go. So what happened? It they flew all over the place, okay? So a jet engine sucks in air into the engine with a fan. The air is then squeezed and the jet fuel is sprayed into the squeezed down air. The fuel is then lit, which causes a lot of gas to be made at very high temperatures. Cool. Those gases shoot out the back of the engine, pushing the jet forward. This is why it is dangerous to stand behind a jet engine when it's running. You can easily be blown away. 
So a jet really uses the same method as an octopus, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. However, instead of pushing water like an octopus... They push gas and different fuels. There you go. So, we have learned about jet propulsion with air and with water. So, what are we supposed to do? Smash that like button and subscribe! And what's my phrase again? Oh, yeah! Don't remember to get... <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember? <laughs> All right, Bailey. <laughs> what is your phrase again? Take two! <laughs> remember to get on the end page, y'all, sign up for mine. Bye! <laughs>